Processing is a fraction in the agricultural space I will say have not been fully utilized. As compared to the percentage of farmers in the country and their cultural produce recorded seasonally, the ratio of individuals deliberately involved in end-term processing is quite slim. Most farmers primarily just sell all their raw materials. Ever thought about the effects of this on both the country's economy and the agricultural ecosystem in general? Today, from the city of Port Harcourt, we will state South South Nigeria. I had a chat with one dynamic entrepreneur, moved by the desire of meeting needs and providing healthy processed food. is making a difference in end term processing of food production. Welcome to Pacitus. My name is Abiyewa Okafor. Um, I studied geophysics from Edo State University and currently the CEO of Abyss Many International with a trademark Abyss Foods. Uh, Abyss Foods is actually a food processing company where we produce spices and food products that ease your time and stress in cooking. Products like banga puree, spices like pepper soup spice, meat spice, and all that. We're currently distributing our products in over 20 supermarkets within and outside Port Harcourt. My name is Abiyewa Okafo. My name is Ladi Pola Etawo Steven. I'm from Masters Joy. I'm from Samson Oboli. I'm Carlo God. I am a Nigerian. And I am a peace center. I'm here with Mrs. Abi Okafo. Welcome to Peace Setters. Thank you so much. And I'm excited to showcase what you do to the world. Let me go straight to the point. You are into a sector that I feel is, in a way, not common. Unlike we have farmers in Nigeria, the agricultural sector, we have more farmers, but we have less people into end time processing. So I want to know, how did you get into, in the first place, let's start like that, how did you get into AB Foods? Okay, so we started with the catering um, service um, stuff, but we still do that anyway. And during the COVID, I just had this um, innovation to start uh, food processing. And it started with a particular food product, you know, the black soup mix and all that. So from there, we wanted to do other products that were healthy products, you know, 100% natural, organic product, because we were already cooking healthy meals. We already had, you know, uh, catering services. We use very good um, quality products. We don't do all those other kind of things that people put in their meals, but we do everything natural. So I wanted to do something that's in that same line, but something that people could assess off the shelf. People could assess, you know, um, to make their, boost their recipe, to ease their stress and reduce their time in cooking. So I started with, uh, I had that in mind. So that actually gave birth to uh, made me to start pr producing uh, food products that would solve that problem, would meet people's needs in that regard. So that's how we actually started with the year. Uh, Again, to meet need. You know, that's one beautiful thing about when I get to meet people. I actually observe that when a business is about meeting need, it's will prosper. So far, based on the people I've met, and even from outsiders, you find that, that when it's about meeting a need, you definitely will prosper because there will always be a need to meet. Exactly. And that's nice. So I want to know, Ma, how did you, now you're into food processing. You said you started with the black soup. Black soup. So now what are the other products you have ventured into from the, the black soup? Okay, we have the banga puree. You know, I, that also was because I wanted people to, you know, spend less time and less stress in cooking. I can imagine. Exactly. You know, people pounding and all that. So I just thought about it. What can I do? So I came about the banga puree. And of course, the banga puree, 
made me to think of the banga spice because when you when you want to cook your banga soup you need, the, it, you need, you need the, the spice so we came up with the banga spice and then the pepper soup spice and then the mixed spice something that you could use for different kinds of meals you know so we have the mixed spice and then recently we've added the turmeric powder the ginger powder suya spice um, we have um, also the bitter leaf tea, the instant egusi mix. That's one of my new babies. <laughs> instant egusi mix. When you say Egusi-mix. instant, how instant is it? Five minutes, and I'm serious, yes. So if I want to prepare egusi soup for my family, the yeah. whole house, yeah. in five minutes. Exactly. Awesome. Yeah. I look forward to doing this. <laughs> okay, now, there's this perspective about people with getting processed meal yeah. because they have this idea of, is preservative, it's not healthy. And you just told us that you are 100% natural. So how has it been? That is just to prove that it's possible. Yeah, yeah. So I want you to just share with the, the audience how you were able to keep at it. Because truly, if you go out there, it's, it's, it's like everybody is saying, why well, I don't like processed food? Why well, I don't go? Because yeah. they have to, yes. Yeah. So how, do, how are you able to achieve the hundred percent natural product. Okay, first of all, it has to do with my own perspective of what I want to do. I want to do hundred percent natural organic products, and I have to stick with that no matter what. So that's where that's from. So I, it's easy. It's easy. You just have to choose not to put additives. You have to do your research. You have to take your products to the lab, which I did. You know, you have to uh, have a recipe that can stay on the shelf, you know, for as long as 12 months, 18 months without you adding additive is a lot of work. Because so it's possible. It's possible because you have to do your homework. You have to do your research. You have to do your experiment and all that. So it's actually possible. My products, we don't use additives. We don't use chemicals. We don't use colorings. We don't use preservatives. And that's, for example, like the Banga puree has to stay refrigerated because yes it can't stay off the shelf because we don't want to put preservatives so when you buy you have to put in the refrigerator but the other spices can stay on the shelf for as long as 18 months your health is important what to take in so imagine i'm using my money to buy something that is not good for my health yeah. so it's something and i have to be the first end user of yeah. my products so i use my products for my meals so okay so coming to your office i saw the foreign certification that you have and i want to know are they all in relating to what you do because you know you mentioned earlier that you have to do your research you have to do you have when you're going into something you have to go well exactly. understand the, the market and all so i just want to know I, i'm sure we're going to show the viewers some of your certification i know that's not all so how why did you decide to go do the extra really uh because you have to be good at what you do you believe in something go out for it you know give it your best and all that and then i'm looking at the global market okay if i'm looking at the global market what are the certifications that i need you know you, ha you have to prepare because you never know opportunity with preparation you know brings success so i had to do some certification like you saw the nigerian export uh, yeah um certification that i have and then the other ones you probably saw were personal development she trades and all that personal development certifications that um, I have to do. I mean, certification that has to do with business, running a business, and all of that, growing, a, uh, having a good structure. You know, it's all to have um, a good delivery to the public. So you need to do your homework at the back end. So you have to develop yourself. You can't give what you don't have. So you have to do your personal development so that you can have an effective business. Yeah. And, yeah. Now, I was going through your page. I discovered that you already have distributors even outside the chef of the states so just mention the states right now you're occupying and the plans forward okay yes we are in benin and then we have um uh, in abuja and then we have in lagos that's big yes it is and big. i i know that you can only get higher and higher thank you so much yes that's what we aspire now you have spices, you have instant egusi, you have all that. So do you intend to just remain in this, maybe advance in this particular product or 
we keep going. Yes, I do have plans for other projects because um, uh, people's needs are becoming more and more dynamic. You know, a lot of people want to have quick meals, you know, and as a business person, you have to be innovative. So definitely, yes, we keep adding to our products based on... To meet different needs. To meet different needs, to, you know, our slogan is less time, less stress in cooking. So there's a lot, still a whole lot of things that we could do to make people spend less time in the kitchen and with less stress. So sure, yes. My name is Abiyewa Okafo. My name is Adi Pola Etawo Steven. I'm from Masters Joy. I'm from a Samsung of Bali. I am Carlo God. I am a Nigerian. And I am a peace center. Imagine returning home after the hardest and stress of a busy day. And instead of eating just anything because you can't afford to go through another long process in cooking, you still have the option of having a healthy meal in the shortest of time. The advantages of end-time processing of food production, especially when it's purely natural, is enormous. Aside to the consumers, but also to the country's economy. If only more people take advantage of end-time processing and food production, the country will be better for it. You know, I'm an advocate for eating homemade food. So I, I really don't enjoy buying food. And imagine the stress in Lagos or Kotaka, wherever you are, you have to go to work, you have to do. So the, why, that's why I'm so interested in the fact that you say it's instant meal, less stress, yeah. less, Less what do you Less stress, less time, less stress. Less seat booster. Wow. So booster, so that's the what list we're is all endless. about. The less list stress, endless. less time, but healthy food. Healthy food, food wow. exactly. Amazing. Now I want to know, like when you started 2020, this is your third year counting. What are the challenges? There are some dynamic challenges that I'm sure comes with every dif different kind of um, business. Yeah. So what are some challenges that you had to face when you started? Even now, I believe challenges are a stepping stone to promotion. So for you to advance, you have to go through some. And because we want the viewers to learn from them, yeah. we just need you to mention some. Okay, um, challenges is always part of the package. So if you're ready for business, if you're ready, you just have to welcome them. Because like you said, it will help you grow. One of the biggest challenges is um, market penetration. You know, you have to fight. You have to uh, be very, very determined, you know, to push your product. Nobody's going to push your product for you. You have to go out. You have to go out and, you know, push your product and position it in the market. You must have a market segment that you're targeting and you must go for it. So those are one of the challenges, you know, and all that. But like you said, every challenge makes you stronger. If you're really determined, you would keep overcoming your, your challenge. You keep pushing. If you keep pushing, you keep paving way for yourself. That's just it. But if you relax, you'll be discouraged, actually. <laughs> so are you saying when you started, was there any point you felt like, let me leave this and just focus on the K3 services. Uh, there are always points in that. There are always stages where you want to like, I might do, I might should I just, let me just rest. But when you see your, you know what makes me keep going is when I go out and I see my product right there on the shelf, I am so inspired by my you know, efforts. I'm so, it, it make, makes me keep going. When I see people using my products, when I go out and, you know, so those are the things that really motivate me, you know, seeing something come out of you and it's actually solving a need and people actually accepted it. You know, when I put my products in supermarkets and I go and they tell me it's finished, I have to restock. You don't know what that does to me. I mean, somebody can go and buy my product and use it. It's, it's more than enough motivation for me. Wow. Yeah, and that's why you just keep I going. I just have to keep going. Amazing. I just have to keep going. Right now, you are penetrating Weaver State for Harcourt. You started getting contacts in other states. What's the plan for people about? Because actually, this packaged uh, product yeah. is helpful. I know of 
people that maybe from Nigeria, they traveled out, and they are so looking forward to getting this kind of product because they've missed their local meal. So has it, have you started or is it in works? What's the plan? Okay, we started with friends, you know, started with... Uh, uh, special orders. Special orders, thank you. You know, so we've been doing that to Canada, UK, US, and all that, yeah. We've actually been doing that, so we want to take it to the next level. <laughs> take, it, take it to the next level and, you know, go all out there. So we have our homework to do, which we're already doing at the back end to put our products in the global stage because it is a necessity, like you said. Yeah, so that's what we're working on right now and we will, we will get there. So let me just use this to ask, so if, if I should say, what's the plan for future for AB Foods? Oh boy, the plan for the future is to have a big factory <laughs> where we are constantly producing, distributing, having our products in every home, yes. We're gonna have products where you just know that you have to use this product for something in your house, for your meal, one of your meals. You know, that's my, that's my future um, goal. Yes, to be in the global market, you go to places like Walmart, you see my product there. And it's yeah. happening. Yes, it's very possible. And guess what? We'll yes. come back again. Once you see it, it will happen. Yes, <laughs> yes. And since yeah. you're, you've said it, yeah. and you're looking forward to it, it will definitely happen. Mm -hmm. Lastly, before I let you go, you know, usually the reason for this show is just to inspire and push somebody out there to do something. You, you really don't have to wait for the government. You don't have to wait for, maybe because, because this, what you read in school, you've not gotten that job, and you're just there doing nothing, wasting time. That's the idea really behind the show. So I want you to inspire somebody watching right now. It could be a young lady, it could be a male, it could be a married man, anybody. But as long as, you know, there are some times you have people that have those dreams inside of them, but maybe because of the capital is not there or something, it's just there inside. They are not doing anything about it. So I want you to just inspire them right now you have to you have to make your dream come alive there are so many people like you said that have a lot in them so much potentials but they're not bringing it out because of probably they they, they are scared to take that bold step you know to to start yeah they, 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 they bother the world what people will think if it fails you know so that keeps pushing them back but there's so much in you that somebody needs so much in you you know, that you need to pull out of you and bring out. You know, you don't have to wait for all the monies. You just have to take the first step. Because the first step is the greatest step, actually. That first step is very important. You have to just take that first step. And then, yes, it's... it's you see yourself you, you would just moving. From there, because if you don't start, you'll never know the next step. Once you start, your eyes start opening. Ideas start coming opportunities starts coming so but if you don't start you will never know what is at the other side so take that bold step take it take that bold step and start did you hear her <laughs> take that bold step and start and the two things i picked from just this your last words first your first step is your greatest step yeah. and if you don't take that first step you may not know what's yeah. ahead so I believe you got that because I just picked that from her and I expect you to do the same. Take that bold step, start. Take the, like you said, the first step is the greatest step. So take that step. You, it may look, there, there may not be clarity exactly. when you start, but just ensure you start and keep at it. You, you said something that you, yes, while in the process, yes, there are sometimes you almost gave up because not exactly gave up but it, it was like i can always leave this and continue what i was doing and just focus on the catering but you kept at it so it's important viewers watching whatever that dream is it is valid and you can make a success out of it and you know what i do i in fact i'm always looking for success stories to showcase so just start and i will come to you to showcase your work my name is Goda Onozoliki. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. My name is Abiyewa Okafo. My name is Ladi Pola Etawo Steven. I'm from Masters Joy. I'm from a Samson of Bolling. I am Carlo God. I am a Nigerian. And I am a patient. <laughs>